Welcome to the class, students. Today I have something new to teach you. So I'm going to show you here the classroom presentation tool in order to start with our class. Well, you know, the previous class, the previous lesson, we were talking about uh, some people's profiles, right? Yeah, you know. And then we did a wrap up. No? Now I have to show you something else okay we did this we were talking about the people profile we did the wrap up part and now it's time to talk about this this new topic that says rain or shame here we have some different pictures no here we have some different pictures uh, where where we can uh, for example describe right no you will have a sport, for example, uh, you can see here uh, two uh, people under the rain. We can see a girl in the beach. You can see here in the sport, right? The ski, an adventure sport. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you do this activity. So maybe have you, uh, maybe one or uh, some of you did these activities in the past, right? Well, now. We are going to start with the topic here. I'm going to ask my friend uh, Mariana to uh, listen and repeat. So on this part, uh -huh. okay, Mariana, please, you're going to read this part. Lesson A. Lesson A. Lesson A. It's it is ex extremely it's cold. cold. Uh -huh. Repeat, please. It's extremely it is extremely cold. cold. One. Uh, vocabulary. vocabulary. Weather. Weather. A. Label the pictures. Label the picture. With the correct what? words. With the correct words. Then listen and check your answers. One listen and check your answers. Weather. Weather. Cloudy, cloudy, rainy, rainy, snowy, snow, sunny, sun, windy, windy, temperature, Tem temperature, cold, cold, cool, cool, hot, hot, warm, warm. Okay, thank you very much, Capolito. That's right, no? We have this part the vocabulary okay we have weather there is a, there is a difference uh, between weather and temperature right you have to notice the difference in this part so let's see i'm gonna uh, play the, the listening in order you can match yeah pay attention please let me see then i'm gonna ask i'm gonna do in the in the in the inverse way pay attention Unit 3. Rain or Shine. Lesson A. It's extremely cold. Page 26. Exercise 1. Vocabulary. Weather. 1. Sunny. 2. Cloudy. 3. Windy. 4. Rainy. Five. Snowy. Six. Hot. Seven. Warm. Eight. Cool. Nine. Cold. Okay. Now you tell me, please, what is number one? What's the answer? You know, you listen. Sunny. Sunny. Mm -hmm. sunny, right? That's the answer in number one. Okay, I'm going to write here. Sunny, what about, oh, I'm going to change the size. This is too big. What about number two? What's the answer in number two? It's cloudy. cloudy. Mm -hmm. Great. Cloudy. What about number three? What's the answer? Windy. Oh, great. This is like Wanuko, right? Wanuko is windy. My God, no? 
Ya, yeah, si eres flaquito como el teacher, el wind te lleva volando. Ok. Number four. What is the answer? Rainy. Mm -hmm. Great. Very good. Very good, Helen. Rainy. That's right. What about number five? It's snowy. Mm -hmm. Great. That's correct. You say number five, snowy. Now, these are the weather, right? Now, let's talk about the temperature. What can you say in number six? Hot. Mm -hmm. Great. Hot. Number seven? Warm. Warm. Great. Warm. What about uh, number eight? Cold. Mm -hmm. Cool, right? Yeah, fresco, fresh, cool. What about number nine? Cold. Cold, cold. right? Yeah, cold. This is cold, no? When you are, for example, in Lima, in in uh, in winter, no? It's cold. It's cold. So for example, what is one uco's temperature? No, generally one uco is between warm and cool, right? Está como que el intermedio, no? It's a temperate weather, no? Yeah. For example, one uco is windy. Yeah, one uco is windy, no? Uh, some days are sunny, some days are cloudy, no? And some days are rainy too. No, but most of the time, Wanuko is sunny, cloudy, and windy, no? Uh, you can say Wanuko is windy every day. Every day is windy, Wanuko, okay? Yeah? Here we have this, um, well, these examples or this vocabulary about the weather, yeah? Now, it says, what's the weather like in your country in each season? Complete the chart with words from part 18 compared with a partner. No, this is kind of difficult, right? Si hablamos del country, de todo el Perú is difficult, right? For example, the weather in Lima is different than the weather in Huanuco, no? They're so completely different, right? For example, in Lima, you can see the four seasons, right? You can see the four seasons, uh, but in Huanuco, it's kind of different, no? It's like, like, like people say, a spring the whole year yeah well now let's see um, this part let's talk about this part um, but generally okay generally for example um, what's the weather like what's the weather like uh, in lima for example in the spring What's the weather like in Lima in the spring? Do you know? Andrea, for example, Andrea is in Lima. What's the weather like in Lima, Andrea, in the spring? Okay, is Andrea there? Hello, Andrea, are you there? Um, yes, teacher, can you repeat the answer, the question, please? Yes, what's the weather like in Lima in spring? In Lima in spring, it's uh, a little bit cloudy, maybe, um, mm -hmm. sometimes, but rarely it's rainy. Okay. Uh, what months do you have this kind of weather? What months? In June or July, maybe, and um, kind of in August. Okay. Yeah. But you mean spring? Okay. Yeah, really? Mm. But I think uh, Andrea in Lima. Mm, it's kind of cold, no? July, August. Mm -hmm. But well, what is uh, the weather like in spring in Wanuko? Uh, April. What's the weather like in, in, in Wanuko? In the spring? Uh, I think it's 
cloudy uh, from the wind. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe sunny. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's right. No, uh, I think in Wanuko all the whole year, no, casi todo el tiempo, casi todas las estaciones in Wanuko is sunny, cloudy, windy. No, yeah, you just you can add, for example, rainy, no, in October, November, December, no, some days, no. Time to time rains, no? And maybe uh, January, February, no? Rains too, no? And maybe March, it's um, the rains are more frequently, right? So, que febrero, marzo, las, las lluvias son más frecuentes en, en, en Huánuco, no? But the rest of the day, el resto del año is sunny, cloudy, and windy. Right? Oh, that's so uh, in that way. Yeah. Now let's go to the next part. It says language in context, favorite seasons. Okay, favorite season. What are we going to do on this part? Now listen to people uh, talk about the favorite season, which places are called. We have to notice something here, students. Aquí tenemos que determinar algo. Yeah. Tenemos que determinar algo. Aquí tenemos tres términos diferentes que estamos trabajando, ¿no? For example, season equal estación. ¿Ya? How many seasons do we have? ¿Cuántos seasons do we have? How many? One, two, four. Four seasons, right? Four seasons. We are going to write here in parentheses four. Yeah. For example, we have a spring. We're going to write here summer, fall, a winter, spring. No. Then we have weather. What's the weather? It's como decir clima. No. How's the weather? For example, in this case, you can say, no? How's the weather? For example, sunny, soleado, no? Windy, ventoso, que hay mucho viento, right? Eh, rainy, lluvioso, no? Eh, you can say then eh, snowy, no? Si está nevando, that's the weather. Okay? Then we have here another term that it's temperature, no? This is something that we were working to, la temperatura, right? Yeah, for example, here, what do we have here, no? A hot, warm, no? Caluroso, calido, no? Hot. Caluroso, ¿no? For example, Pucalpa. Pucalpa is hot, ¿no? Warm, cálido. It's in Wanuko, ¿no? In the morning, night to ten. It's kind of warm, ¿no? Es cálido. Eh, then we have cool, ¿no? Por las tardes, Wanuko could be cool too. Un poco fresco, right? And then we have eh, cold, frío, ¿no? For example, Cerro de Pasco, Ticlio, ¿no? It's cold. The temperature in those places are cold. ¿Ya? Entonces, hay que, hay, que, hay que tener bien en claro estos, estos términos, chicos, ¿ya? Oh, my God. Estos términos. Season, weather, and temperature. ¿Ya? Okay. Now, let's see. We have something here, ¿no? It says, uh, favorite season. In this case, we're going to talk about season. Right? Look, it says, listen to people talk about which are cool. Which of these seasons are cool? Yeah? Pay attention, please. Page 26. Exercise 2. Language in context. Favorite seasons. My favorite season is spring. It's fairly cool, and it rains quite a bit. But it's a good time to see flowers. Jan Lise Holland. 
I like summer a lot. It's very windy, great for windsurfing, and it doesn't rain at all then. Fuad, Esoueda, Morocco. Fall is my favorite. It's sunny and cool, and in late October, 150 million butterflies arrive. Juan, Morelia, Mexico. I love winter. It's extremely cold and it snows a lot, but that's when the Sapporo Snow Festival is. Die, Sapporo, Japan. Okay, now tell me, students, which places are cool? Mm -hmm. Which places are cool? You have here four places. We have here Holland, Morocco, Mexico, and uh, Japan. Uh, oh, yes, Japan. Japan. Mm -hmm. Japan is cool, really. It says on this part. Huh? Holland. What do you think? Holland is cool. Okay, Holland, Holland, sorry, Holland is cool. Mexico. Mexico. Mexico, right? Yeah. Holland and Mexico are cool, right? Yeah, according to the reading. Now, what about you? What's your favorite, uh, uh, what's your favorite season? What's your favorite season? Hmm? What do you think? Okay. Uh, well, pay attention, students. I mean, according to uh, according to the um, I don't know to to tsunami, I guess, right? Is uh, the the place i don't know that it's um, that gives you know the the weather and everything in peru they say that for example you have here in peru summer starts no in uh, december 21st yeah in peru it's in December 21st, it starts the summer, no? Uh, then we have the spring, no? Spring. When, when does, the, the, does the spring start? It start on, uh, for example, let me see, it is 20, uh, September, yeah? September 22nd, yeah? This is a spring. Then what else do we have? We have here a uh, fall. When does fall starts in Peru? It's on um, uh, March, March 20. Yeah, it's fall. Now, when does uh, winter starts in Peru? Winter starts on, I'm gonna place in further way. Okay, in Peru, winter starts on a uh, June twenty. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, how you have the weather in Peru. Yeah. Now you tell me, what's your favorite season? I'm gonna ask uh, Leticia. Leticia, what's your favorite season? Hmm? Winter. Winter. Oh, we are close to your favorite season. Um, what's the weather like in winter in Wanuko? You're in Wanuko, right, Leticia? Or you're in another place? Where are you, Leticia? Where? Leticia? 
Yes, I was asking you. You are in Wanuko, right? Estás en Wanuko. You are in another place. Estás en otro place, en otro lugar. No, en Wanuko. Okay, ya. Yeah. Tell me, what's the weather like in Wanuko in winter? Rain. Okay, in June, for example. No, what's the weather like? Rainy teacher. It's rainy. Yeah, really? Are you sure it's rainy esta temporada? June, July, August. It's rainy. Are you sure? Segura, Leticia, que para estos meses llueve en Wanugo? Windy? No, right? Doesn't rain in Wanuko, no? Y si es que rain, si es que llueve, será pues once or twice a month, uno o dos veces al mes, no? It's not frequently the rains. How's the weather? What's the weather like? Look, look at your book. I puedes guiarte en tu book. Ahí tienes en tu book. Los weather and, and the temperature, you can tell us, right? Windy, teacher. Yeah, it's windy, you know? The whole year in Wanuko, it's windy. What else? What else? Que mal, Leticia. How's the weather? It's cold. It's warm, it's cool, it's hot. Cloudy, teacher. It's cloudy. Yeah, okay. Could be cloudy, right? But mm, yeah, we can consider that. Well, now I'm going I'm to ask another student. Excuse me. Uh, mm -hmm. Who I'm going to ask now? Samira. Samira, tell me. What about you? What's your favorite season, Samira? Samira? What's your favorite season? Good morning, teacher. Good morning. What's your favorite season, Samira? Uh, What's your favorite season? You have here summer, fall, winter, spring, verano, otoño, invierno, primavera, right? What's your favorite season? Winter. Winter. Oh, yeah. It starts on June. Ya falta poco para tu favorite season. Six days, yes. right? Okay. Yes. What's the weather like in winter? ¿Cómo es el clima? What's the weather like in winter in your favorite season, Samir? In Wanuko, right? Because you are in Wanuko, right, Samira? It's cold. It's cold. Yeah, kind of cold, right? In the morning and at night, yeah, it's kind of cold, cloud. That's right, no? Yeah. Se pone un poco frío en las mañanas y en las noches, right? What else, Samira? But it's cold, cold, Samira, or it's cool? What do you think? Será cold, como Cerro de Pasco, Ticlio, no, o será cool? cool? Cool, right? It's un poco fresco, ¿no? un poquito de aire frío por ahí. But it's not okay. cold, ¿no? Cold is Cerro de Pasco, Ticlio, La Oroya, ¿no? That's cold. Yeah? Uh, what else? How's the weather? ¿Qué más? Cold, oh, sorry, cool in the morning, cool at night, ¿no? What else? ¿Qué más? Samira, what else? Vamos, tell me, what's the weather like? Puedes guiarte tu book. En tu book vas a ver unas imágenes, right? It's snowy. Snowy? Really? Snowy in one go? Did I listen very well? Snowy, esto? 
snowy, Samira? No. No, right? Wanugo never, never snows in Wanugo. Nunca hay snow in Wanugo. Tendría que ser el juicio final para ver nieve en Wanugo, right? My God, no. How's the weather? I think, I think it's, uh, for example, you can say, no, it's, eh, como nos decía Samira, it's cool in the morning and at night, no, las primeras horas de la mañana, en la noche, madrugada, it's cool, no, and it's warm, no, at noon, al mediodía, en Huánuco, it's warm, yes or no, it's ca es cálido, no, no es como, como Pucalpa o Tingo hot, ¿no? Que sería, pues, caluroso al mango. Es warm en Wanuko, ¿no? It's cool and warm, ¿ya? Yeah? Well, and that's at noon, lógicamente, no al mediodía, ¿ya? Porque en la mañanita, en la noche, ya se pone un poco, un poco cool, right? Okay. Now, let's see. Here we have... The grammar part that are the adverbs of intensity, quantifiers with verbs. Aquí tenemos los adverbs, los adverbs de intensidad, right? Ustedes que les gusta la película intensamente, right? Okay, now here we have, what are the adverbs of intensity? Here we have the adverbs of intensity. Extremely, very, really, pretty, fairly. Somewhat. Yeah? So, says, for example, in this case, we can say, no? Eh, damos la intensidad, pues, no? La intensidad con la cual se manifiesta algo. No? For example, dice, it's extremely cold. Para hacer referencia a esto es que extremadamente frío, no? For example, which place could be extremely cold para ustedes? Hmm? Tell me. Vamos, vamos. Tell me, tell me. Hmm? No, uh? You don't have no ideas? Ninguna idea, chicos? Hmm? Which place? Which place is extremely Alaska. cold? What? Alaska. Oh, yeah. Alaska, right? The Antarctic, La Antarctica, right? Can you, can you imagine that? It's extremely cold, no? Yeah, te puedes congelar ahí, right? Yeah, it's extremely cold. Extremadamente, right? Now, Which place is very windy, for example? You are familiarized with that. Están familiarizados. So estamos familiarizados con a very windy. Uh, Lima. What? Lima. Lima, windy. Are you sure? What do you think? Which, which place is very windy? For example, Wanuko, no? Wanuko is very windy. It's demasiado, it's, it's, it's muy ventoso, Wanuko, no? At, at noon, al mediodía, yeah, from uh, 12, right? From 12, at noon, al mediodía empieza, no? Okay. California windy, yeah, right? Yes, California, it's kind of windy too. Which place it's really hot, realmente hot, no? Wanuko queda, es un chancay de a 20 si hablamos de hotness. Which place is really hot in Peru, for example? Mm -hmm. Iquitos, teacher. Very good, no? Iquitos is really hot, my God, no? In summer, in verano, pura. Lima, yeah, it's really hot. Yeah, realmente caluroso, right? Which place is it's or which place is pretty sunny? Which 
which place? Which place is pretty sunny? For example, Wanuko, no? You know, if you look through the window, miras ahora por la ventana, it's pretty sunny. Está realmente soleado, está muy soleado. Right? No, it could be Tarapot or Tingo Maria too, no? Pretty sunny. Yeah, soleado. Now, which place is fairly cool? What is fairly? Como decir, mm, bastante, bastante fresco. Which place is fairly cool? Hmm? One ago, right? Could be. Or maybe another place. If you go up, si va subiendo, de pronto, Guariaca. No? Guariaca could be co cool. Right? Do you know Guariaca? Conocen Guariaca? Guariaca. Huacar, those places, ¿no? Que están un poquito más arriba que Huanco. Un poco más fresco todavía, right? What else? Then we have another other of, of frequency that says it's somewhat, somewhat, ¿cómo decir algo, no? Somewhat, somewhat cloudy. Algo eh, nublado, somewhat cloudy. ¿Ya? Yeah? Then we have here the quantifiers with verbs. What do we use the quantifiers? For example, in this in this uh, case, no, it snows a lot. Esto es como decir la cantidad con la cual se manifiesta, ¿verdad? En este caso, la cantidad de qué? La cantidad de nieve, pues, no. It's, it snows a lot, no. For example, in the North Pole, in el Polo Norte, no. Because it snows a lot, yeah, definitely, no snows a lot. Don't forget the quantifier, la cantidad con la cual se manifiesta, ¿no? Eh, quite a bit, ¿no? It rains quite a bit, ¿no? Even, for example, you can say in, for example, in Huanuco, ¿no? In Huanuco, in, in summer, ¿no? Believe it or not, it rains quite a bit. Right? Yeah. Uh, what else? Which place more? Uh, mostly in the mountains, I guess. No, in the mountains, in, in, in the high mountains. No, uh, in summer, no rains quite a bit. No, es la característica de la sierra, verdad? En verano es temporada de lluvias. No, yeah, that's right. That's why January, February rains quite a bit, no? Llueve bastante. Okay, now, what says about a, a little, no? It's, for example, you say, it snows a little. Es como decir, pues neva un poco, no? It doesn't rain very much. Es como decir, no llueve mucho, no? It doesn't rain. It doesn't rain at all. Cuando decimos a roll es para decir para nada, o sea, no llueve, no? For example, in May, in Wanuko, doesn't rain a lot. No, for example, in Wanuko, Mayo, Junio, doesn't rain a lot. No llueve para nada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Solamente la característica es de que se hace un poco, un poco cool, no, un poco fresco, un poco frío. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Now we have here. Add the, add the adverbs and quantifiers to the sentence, then compare with a the partner. For example, no, we have here a lot. What is a lot? Es un quantifier, ¿verdad? Ahora, ¿cuál es la característica del quantifier? Por lo general va aquí al final. ¿Ve? Y mientras que el adverb or frequency va antes del verb. ¿Ve? Antes del, eh, sorry, antes del, del the noun, right? Or the, the, in this case, it's extremely cold, no? Yeah, let's see. It snows in Moscow in winter. It snows a lot in Moscow in winter. Yeah? Entonces, si te das cuenta, como te decía, no? Va al final. Va después, eh, el verb. No? You have the verb here, snow, y luego a lot. Yeah? It's not a lot. Yeah. Okay. Now we have here. It rains in Seattle in the winter. ¿Cuál será lo correcto? 
Mm -hmm. Vamos, tell me, tell me, what should be the answer? Mm -hmm. Andrea, please tell me your answer. It rains quite a bit in Seattle in the winter. Okay, very good. That's right. No, you say it. It rains, no? Luego que viene, no? Después del, eh, del verb, you say it rains quite a bit. Viene el quantifier with verb, right? Quite a bit, no? In Seattle, in the winter. Okay, that's the answer. That's the correct answer. It rains quite a bit in Seattle in the winter. Okay, now what about number three? It says it's cold in Busan in January. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Extremely cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, vamos, tell me complete. It's extremely cold. Very In good. Mm -hmm. Continue. In Busan. In Busan. In general. Very good. That's right. No, it's extremely cold. Si te das cuenta, pues el extremely es un adverb of intensity. ¿Verdad? Que está aquí. Entonces, ¿dónde tiene que ir? Tiene que ir antes, pues, ¿no? No después. And you say, it's extremely cold. I'm going to do this. Okay, one moment. Yeah. You say, it's extremely cold, ¿no? In Busan in January. That's the answer. Right now, what about number four? What's the answer in number four? It says it's cool in Rabat in the rainy season. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me the answer? Come on, tell me, tell me, what's the answer? What do you think, Wendy? What's the answer, Wendy, in this part? Hmm? Mm, it's fairly. Mm -hmm. Continue. It's fairly. It's fairly cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rabat in the rainy season. Very good. Thank you very much. That's right. It's very cool, right? That's when the fairly is an adverb of intensity. Entonces tiene que ir antes del cool, ¿verdad? Yeah, it's fairly cool, yeah. Um, in Rabat, in Rabat, in the rainy season. In the rainy uh, season, right? Okay, we are going to do this. Mm -hmm. Now, what about number five? It says, it snows in Lima in July, but says not at all. Ah, mira, in parentheses, we have not at all. How can we do this? Si es not, se supone que es negative, right? What do you think should be the answer uh, in this part? Gerardo. What should be the answer? Mm -hmm. Or maybe Chavez. Abril, tell me, what you your answer, Abril? Uh, it doesn't snow at all in Lima in July. 
Oh, very good. No, you say it doesn't. Pero recuerda, como es negative doesn't, simplemente diré snow, ¿verdad? Ya no digo snows. Recuerda que snows es para affirmative. Si es negative, it doesn't snow. Right? At all. In Lima. In July. Right? Yeah, it doesn't snow at all. In Lima in July. That's the answer. Okay, now what about number six? It says it's windy in Wellington all whole year, right? All year. Uh, please, Andrea, what's your answer in this part? In number six, I think it's um, it's pretty windy in Wellington all, all year. Yeah, that's right. That's correct. It's pretty windy, right? You know, pretty is an adverb of intensity. No, it's pretty windy in Wellington all year. That should be the correct answer, yeah? Okay, now you have here the difference between adverbs of intensity and quantifiers with verbs. Ya recuerda. Los adverbs van antes y los quantifiers van después. Okay? Now that's something that you have to consider. Now let's see what do we have here. Okay. I'm going to place this in this way. Yeah? Oh my God. This is one by one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I think we can work on this part. Yeah, it says listening. Think about the weather. Listen to people talk about the weather in three cities. Yeah, which city is one of the people planning to visit? Circle the city. For example, no? number one, what are they going to talk about? Istanbul or Turkey in this part? It's, I don't know, because it's cold winter. Then number two, we have the options Antigua or Guatemala. We have to place here. No, and number three, we have this Beijing, China, right? You have to uh, you have to tell where which place are they talking about? Yeah, which city is one of the people planning to visit? Pay attention, please. Page 27, exercise four, listening. Think about the weather. One. So, where do we want to go on our vacation? How about Istanbul? Hmm, what's the weather like there in December? Is it warm? Let's see what this website says. It's not really warm, no, it's cold. How cold? What does it say? It can get down to about five degrees in the winter. Oh, that's pretty cold. Maybe we can go there another time. Two. So, how do you like Antigua? Oh, I love it here. Do you like the weather? I do. It's not rainy and it's nice and warm. Well, it is the dry season. A dry season starts around November and ends in April. And then the rains come? That's right. It rains a lot in the summer, especially July. Well, I'm glad I'm here now. I hate the rain. Three. Are you excited about your year in Beijing? Yes, I can't believe it. One year in China, studying Mandarin. You're so lucky. What's the weather like in Beijing? Is it nice? You know, I'm not sure. Let's check online. Okay. Wow, it's cold in the winter. Very cold. But it doesn't rain in the winter. No, but what about snow? Oh, of course. I go there in March. What's the weather like then? Let's see. It says spring is dry and windy. That's okay. I can't wait to visit you. Okay, now tell me, uh, in number one, what do we have to circle? 
Istanbul, Turkey, right? Which city is one of the people planning to visit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they are going. Are, are they going to visit Istanbul, Turkey? Yes or no? What do you think? Antigua, Guatemala, Beijing, China. According to the listening, no, they are planning, for example, here. Uh, she said that, yeah, no, I'm going to visit you then. I see you then in that place, right? Now, you have to listen uh, one more time and you're going to complete these sentences. Yeah, for example, uh, how's the weather in, in Istanbul, no, in winter? How's the weather in Antigua, Guatemala? in uh, from november to april no and how's the weather in beijing in spring okay so pay attention now page 27 exercise 4 listening think about the weather one so where do we want to go on our vacation how about istanbul hmm what's the weather like there in december is it warm Let's see what this website says. It's not really warm, no. It's cold. How cold? What does it say? It can get down to about 5 degrees in the winter. Oh, that's pretty cold. Maybe we can go there another time. 2. So, how do you like Antigua? Oh, I love it here. Do you like the weather? I do. It's not rainy, and it's nice and warm. Well, it is the dry season. A dry season starts around November and ends in April. And then the rains come? That's right. It rains a lot in the summer, especially July. Well, I'm glad I'm here now. I hate the rain. 3. Are you excited about your year in Beijing? Yes, I can't believe it. One year in China, studying Mandarin. You're so lucky. What's the weather like in Beijing? Is it nice? You know, I'm not sure. Let's check online. Okay. Wow, it's cold in the winter. Very cold. But it doesn't rain in the winter. No, but what about snow? Oh, of course. I go there in March. What's the weather like then? Let's see. It says spring is dry and windy. That's okay. I can't wait to visit you. Okay, now you tell me, what's the answer in Istanbul? It's pretty cold. Oh, very good. No, it's pretty cold in the winter, pretty cold, right? They say five degrees. Five degrees, my God, it's pretty cold, no? What about Antigua? Ja is from November to, to April. Mm -hmm. What's the answer? What did you listen? You don't know? Andrea, please, what's your answer? In the... Mm -hmm. Number two, please. I think that the dry season is from November to April. Excellent. Very good. The dry season, right? La temporada seca, no? Because they say... It's pretty, uh, oh, it's rain, it rains a lot in July, no? In July, pff, rains a lot. But the dry season is from November to April. That's why, no? Uh, the person says, oh, I'm so glad that I'm here in this 
in this season because I hate to rain. Yeah. Now let's see the other part. Number three. What's the answer in number three? It's dry and windy. Great. That's correct. No, it's dry and windy in the spring. No, that's why they say no. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna visit to you. Entonces te voy a ver entonces en esta temporada, right? Oh, sorry, it's dry and windy. Yeah, that's why they are, they were planning to go to that place, right? Okay, those are the answers on this part. Now we have the other part that says here listening, yeah? True or false, no? Here we have, uh, in this part, here we have some uh, weather, right? Pretty sunny, extremely hot, really cold, rain a lot, very windy, somewhat cloudy, fairly cold. No, it says, right, two, two true sentences, two false sentences about the weather where you live. No, for example, in Wanuko, creo que ya lo dijimos, in Wanuko, it's uh, very windy, no? Um, it's not extremely hot, it's warm, no? Okay, yeah. But well, now let's go to the workbook part, students. We're gonna finish with the workbook part, yeah? I assign you homework, la clase, la clase anterior is the hell 15 y el 16, right? I'm gonna do this now. Okay, oh, shine. Yeah, 16. Ahora les va a corresponder el 17, yeah? El 17, que es básicamente aquí etiquetar, ¿verdad? For example, cold. ¿Cuál es cold? Este de aquí, ¿no? Dice cloudy. ¿Cuál será cloudy? Tenemos aquí cloudy. Y vamos etiquetando, ¿ya? Luego dice, label the map, ¿no? Label the map. Write sentences about the weather. Use the simple present of P and word from exercise one. Mira, te va, vas a fijarte en las imágenes y vas a utilizar el vocabulario que has desarrollado aquí para formar oraciones, ¿no? Por ejemplo, pero tienes que indicar el lugar, ¿no? En este caso, Chicago, ¿no? Dice aquí, tomamos en cuenta Chicago, tomamos en cuenta lo que trabajamos anteriormente y formamos la oración. It's windy and cool in Chicago, ¿no? O sea, es como que estás indicando el clima de Chicago en ese momento, ¿ya? What, what else? This is page number eh, 17. ¿Ya? Y vamos a ver page number 18. ¿Qué vas a hacer aquí? Ok, bueno, de igual manera te dice Circle the correct answer. Vas a observar la imagen, ¿ya? Y vas a encerrar en un círculo la respuesta correcta, ¿no? De acuerdo a la imagen, ¿no? What season is this? ¿No? ¿Qué, este, eh, ¿qué temporada es este de aquí? ¿No? It's warm, it's rainy, no. It's a dry season, ¿no? La temporada seca, mira, todo está hasta rajándose. Entonces, observas cada una de las imágenes y eliges la respuesta correcta. ¿Ya? Luego, number four, que te dice cross out the word that doesn't belong to each list. Vas a eliminar, ¿ya? Vas a eliminar la palabra que no corresponde. ¿No? Por ejemplo, tienes aquí extremely, really, very. ¿Y qué es lo que no correspondería aquí? Pues, fairly. ¿Right? ¿Ya? Porque eh, normalmente, pues, estas te están dando la intensidad, ¿no? Extremadamente, realmente, muy. Y esto, fairly, es pues, como decir, pues, un poco, right Entonces, eh, no correspondería, pues, ¿no? ¿Ok? Fairly es como decir lo justo, lo necesario, nada más. ¿Ya? Entonces, eso es lo que te correspondería. Page number 17 y page number 18. Estas dos páginas. Ok, chicos, sorry, creo que ya nos pasamos un par de minutos. I just want to say thank you very much. That's all for today. See you in the next class. Bye bye, students. Take care. Bye, teacher. Goodbye, my friend Israel. Bye bye. Goodbye, teacher. Bye, Leticia.